<laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to our weekly Believers and Achievers group Zoom. We still need a new name. Y'all need to do some brainstorming. We need to have some, some cute, catchy name for our, our group Zoom. Um, zooming it up, Tuesday night talks. I don't know, something. But anyway, so... Um, so this week, I thought we'd kick it off. Miss Melanie and Kat are here with us tonight. Um, just what's going on? What's good? What's happening? What's, what are we celebrating this week? Anything good happen? Um, well, I have a girl that has a um, show on the go, and someone that she has contacted has already placed an online order on her party Yay, page on my website. I love so, to see those PWS orders coming yes. through. Yep. Makes your day, doesn't it? Yeah, so I let her know that she already had one order and she needed to add some more people because she hadn't only added a couple people to the event page, so. That gets your hostess excited too when they know yes. they're already starting to earn. Yes. How about you, Melanie? Anything oh, good happening this week? It's crazy. There's all kinds of great things happening. So um, having, is it Serena? Having Serena come out. I've been posting in my different events and I've been private messaging some folks and I sold three so far. So um, that's awesome. I've been doing follow-ups and some of the follow-ups have had orders with them. Some of them have been bookings and yeah, it's, it's been a great thing. Yes, it's, it's magical. Now, the, the next thing, so Heather's going to be talking tonight about Maven. This is some, the real deal. Now, the other day, I started out with 100, and I got all the way down to 14. I don't know wow. why I didn't finish after the 14. I think I just squirreled. But the cool <laughs> thing is, is that it wasn't all at once. It was a little here and a little there, and it's it's awesome. And those are already reaping in orders and parties because I, I would rather have them book a party or turn their order into a party than just that instant sale. And sometimes people say yes. And sometimes people say no. And, um, I was doing, I was getting ready for a delivery and some people have heard this, but I'm just super excited about it. And you know, you might think that I've been doing this for like nine years and I'm like an old pro on everything. <laughs> um, every day is a brand new day for me. And um, so this person, I was getting ready to deliver her order and I said to her, why don't you sell this stuff? And she said to me, I don't know why I don't, I love it. So we have not connected um, something came up and we didn't connect. However, she is like this far away from um, joining um, and flipping her. So it's, it's just the, connecting with people. It's my jam. And it's been a, it's been a great week. And it's, <laughs> it's only Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. So I have my um, basket of bars out because I was looking through I got a random um, person contact me from the Sensi.com um, from the locator service. And she said, oh my God, my cousin used to sell in Orlando and doesn't anymore. And you're the closest one to me. And I'm almost out of stuff and I can't go without my Sensi. And I'm, I said, no, we can't have a Sensi emergency. Let's hook you right up. So she, um, I didn't hear from her for a minute. She said, oh, I'm looking online at the website and um, I didn't hear from her for a couple of days, so I followed up with her and touched base and said, did you find what you needed? And sure enough, she sent me a $60 order full of bars that she wanted. Um, so I found the ones that I had on hand, and she's stopping by in the morning to pick them up. Um, so I'm hoping to get to know her a little bit, get her some samples, make sure she's sniffed all the new summer stuff, because I have a feeling she's not even touched the summer since yet. Um, so I'll be um, excited and happy to share with her all the fun new things we have going on. Awesome. Um, so it's always fun to have a new face come stop by and another local face, which is fun for me. The more I kind of increase my local customers, even if they're online right now, at least I have a group of local people that I can start to develop those relationships with so they feel comfortable enough to stop by. Because I love that in Maine when people would just stop by my house and... <laughs> I was in such a nice central location that people would just 
Popeye. Um, so I'm looking forward to that again. So um, lots of good things going on, and Maven, of course, is one of them. Um, and really, Maven came about because of the problem <laughs> of children and six-year-olds yelling in your house at bedtime. Um, Maven came about because so many of us struggle with follow-up. We do. We struggle. We don't know. We know we need to do it. But for, for some reason, it's the one thing that most people have a hard time getting started with, knowing how, feeling overwhelmed with. Um, I know for me, as, as my business is busy, you end up with a ton of, con like you, all these people, right, contacts, especially at Christmas time, you get all these order forms, and then it looks like just a ton of work, like, oh my God, I've got to go through and do all that, or you put it off for so long that now you've got so much to do, and it's been so long since you've talked to people that now you feel uncomfortable talking to them again, um, you don't know quite, quite, quite what to say. Um, so a lot of us feel like we're bugging people. We don't want to nag them or make them, you know, feel uncomfortable. Like we're just want to buy, have them buy stuff from us. So there's a lot of different reasons why people kind of put off follow up. It also, we always talk about a follow up system and a lot of people, if they don't have a system in place, they feel like they can't start. And so I think what we've done over the years really is overcomplicate follow up. We've really kind of talked ourselves out of it. Um, when really it's, it's a very, very simple thing and the most important thing. It's like so, so important because you know how hard it is to find new customers, right? New contacts to build and reach out of your network of friends and family. It's so hard to finally get outside of that. And so once you find customers, you don't want them going away. Um, if you can find a loyal customer, they're going to order from you over and over and over and over again. And they're going to introduce you to their network of people. And if you don't follow up and get to know them and create that relationship, they're not going to introduce you to their network of people. So it's really, really important um, to do follow up. And Sensi did a lot of research on their own recently and found most of our people that order, their second order comes within seven days. So if we're not reaching out and touching base and checking in on our people, and following up right away, we're missing out on money. Like, you're not following up with your customers. That is money that you're just saying, nah, I don't need it. There it is laying there waiting for you to go get it. And you're just like, let it sit there, blow away in the wind because you don't need that money. Um, every follow-up is a potential sale. It's a potential booking. It's a potential new, new person. Um, like Melanie said, she just followed up with somebody and said, you know, you love this stuff. You keep ordering from me. Why aren't you a consultant? The person may sign up and be a rock star, right? That's money on the table. If you don't follow up and make that connection and ask those questions, and then you have just let it blown away in the wind. There is some statistics around follow-up that 48% um, of people don't follow up at all. So half of us are not taking advantage of income potential in our business and growth in our business that is just sitting there waiting for us to do it, right? Only 10% of consultants follow up more than three times. So think about it. Okay, say you do follow up. Okay, I did call those people. How many times did you call them? Once? Did you call them a second time? What about a third time? Now you feel like you're bugging them, right? They've not come back to you. And now the third time you feel like you're bugging them because only 10% of people will follow up a third time. But what happens is 80% of sales happen on the fifth through 12th contact. Fifth through 12th. So most of your sales, I mean, you think about it. Here's a very real, how many of you guys get Kohl's emails from Kohl's, right? You shop at Kohl's, you shop at Target, um, probably if you shop at Walmart or you're on walmart.com. Um, maybe you get Amazon emails, all these stores that you shop at, right? You've purchased something and now they send you emails. How often do they send you emails? I get Kohl's emails three to four times a day, every day, every day I get a Kohl's email. Now, do I click on it every time? No, I don't click on it every time. I don't need something every day. 
I don't need something from Kohl's next week. Um, so I'm not going to necessarily click on it. But when I need something, guess the first thing I think of, the first thing I do. I search my email for my Kohl's email to see what's on sale and what's new. That's the first thing I do when I, when I need something from Kohl's. Your customers, they need to hear from you on a regular basis, not every day, but on a regular basis. And they may not respond back to you all the time because they don't need it right now. It's not the right time for them. They're not ready to purchase and that's okay. Your follow-ups are still keeping you front of mind. So the day comes when they put their last cube in their warmer or when they feel like they need a new scent or a gift for one of their friends, you have been in front of their mind and now they can go, oh, I need a gift. Let me go call my Scentsy consultant. She's been emailing me. I can search her email really quick. It's been recent. Or there's a text message and it's pretty close in my phone. I can find it. Um, she knows how to get a hold of you because you've been touching base over and over and over again and you're front of mind. So when she is ready to purchase, she's going to reach out to you or you're going to follow up like pretty soon again. And she'll be like, yes, I've been meaning to call you. How many times have you called, have followed up? And they've said that I was thinking about you. I've been meaning, um, I really need to get some more stuff. I'm so glad you called. That's, most of the time when I actually talk to people on follow-ups, that's what they say. I'm so glad you called. I really need stuff. And how cool is that, that we can provide that service and be there for them when they need us, right? We just show up. And there we are. And when they need us, um, and that's not bothering people. That's, that's helping them. That's giving them what they need. Um, when you're following up, think of it as checking in to see that they got their order okay. You're making sure that they're happy with what they got. You don't want somebody to order something and then not like it. So you want to make sure they love it. And then you're getting to know them over time and building a relationship. That's really all it is. And I think too many people think of follow-up as asking for sales. And that's not always what it is. Maybe occasionally you're going to call people up and be like, hey, do you need to buy something? I've got a special. But most of your follow-up is just checking on people just making sure you got your stuff. I'm just making sure you like your stuff and are using your stuff. Because I will tell you, sometimes people don't even open it and it sits in their closet and they've not even opened the bag. Never mind the box that the warmer is in. Um, so remind them to open their stuff. And then you're just getting to know them over time because people will do business with those people that they like and trust, right? And if they don't like you and know you and trust you, they're not gonna continue to do business. They're not going to introduce you to all their friends and family. So you've got to continue to build the relationship. Let them get to know you. You get to know them. Find out what's going on in their lives and, and create that relationship so that when they are ready and when they need something or when life changes and they're looking for a business opportunity, they're going to think of you because you're somebody that they know, somebody that they like, somebody that they trust. The follow-up is not always about bugging people for sales. So get that right out of your brain. It's not what it's about. It's about building relationships and checking on your customers, making sure they're happy and that they have everything that they need. So um, the other thing about follow-up too, and not just from your customers, but people that you meet out in the world in general, new people that you meet, um, not everybody will become customers, right? And not everybody will become your team members. Maybe, hopefully, they'll be a customer or a team member, but sometimes they're just there to connect you with other people. So just because they're not buying from you doesn't mean you shouldn't be following up and building relationships with those people too, right? Everybody that you meet, everybody that you talk to, you should be following up and checking in and trying to build a relationship with because even if you purchase, even if they don't join your team, they might connect you with somebody who will or somebody's who will want to buy or, or join your team. I have a ton of people who, um, they don't often buy Sensi. They might from time to time, but they will always tell me, oh, my friend really likes this stuff. I need to send her to you. Um, so don't be afraid to follow up with people. And again, you're not asking for sales. They're not interested in shopping. That's fine. But it doesn't mean you shouldn't touch base and see how they are and what's going on and get to know them because they may at some point trust you enough to send you their friends and family. Um, the follow-up is a big deal. And because it's such a big deal and we're all so scared and nervous about doing it, 
and because the organizational piece of it, right, is so complicated and overwhelming sometimes, um, Scentsy gave us Maven. And Maven is a wonderful, amazing, magical tool. It's all how I can say is it's just magical. Um, how it has simplified and made such so straightforward the follow-up process for us and taken all of the overwhelm away taking all of the the um keeping track all the record keeping is gone you don't have to do any of it Isn't that cool um and it will remind you it will make sure that you don't fall behind which is cool too because that's part of our problem we get so far behind and we haven't talked to people for so long that we're embarrassed to call them and say hey i know it's been a year and a half but you need any wax <laughs> right and then we don't because we're embarrassed so maven reminds us so that we don't fall behind and makes that follow-up super super easy and effective so how does it do it ah. so here's the cool thing maven is giving you 30 days free to try out the whole the premium features so you can you can play with this for a whole month and see how it might work in your business before you spend a dime, which is really super cool. Now, unfortunately, I have done all my to do's today. Um, but when you open Maven, it gives you a list of to do's. I left one on there for you. So it says, Good afternoon. Now, at 8 a.m. every morning, my Maven populates my to do's. How does it do that? It takes a look at my workstation overnight and pulls all of the orders from the last two years and looks at all of them and it finds everybody that has ordered in the last two days, in the last two weeks, and in the last two months. And it gives me a to-do. It says, hey Heather, this person ordered two days ago. You should check in on them and make sure they got their order. Or it'll say, this person ordered two weeks ago, you should check in and make sure they like their order. Or it will say, this person has not ordered in a while, you should check in on them, see if they need anything, right? So there's three different ways, and Maven is set up to check your workstation automatically. So when you're entering orders, you have to make sure that you enter customer information, because then it will pull those contacts for you straight from your workstation, you don't have to do anything extra. And every two days, two weeks, and two months, it will give you a to-do item that you need to follow up with that person. Now, not only is it reminding you to do that, but Maven will create the verbiage for you, which is amazing. Um, and I wish I had one on here that I could show you. So you click on the to-do, and it brings up the contact. And it offers, so depending on what information you have entered, whether you've entered a text, uh, a phone number for texting, an email address, you can do snail mail if you have to. Um, and there's also a place to enter the Facebook handle so that you can Facebook message people. And you choose which way you want to communicate with your contact. So depending on who it is, you might communicate with them in a different way. And all you do is push which way you want and it will bring up that application from your phone and populate the message that you need to send to them. And the message is personalized. It has their name, it has what they bought. You may tweak that message and edit it if you would like. Um, if you're somebody who says, hey girl, then you might change the greeting a little bit or if their product says, did you receive your, um, six pack or something. Sometimes it, it has the bundle names rather than the actual product. Um, so you can tweak it a little bit as you need. But what I have found is to trust the verbiage. Maven knows what they're doing. And the whole point of this is to be quick and easy. And so I trust the verbiage. And I tested it a few times. And the ones that I did not mess with the language got better responses than when I started trying to do it myself. So, because we overthink it, we overcomplicate. And like I said, Maven, they know what they're doing and it's there for a reason to be fast, quick, and easy. And so just trust it. Tweak it if you need to, of course, and if you feel so obliged, but you can trust the verbiage. And so I click what I want to communicate, it pops up the verbiage for me. I tweak the language a little bit if I need to, and I push send. And I have just followed up. And I can do that with each one. So I go to the next name. 
click. Yes, I want to text, send. Yes, I want to email, send. And I might add my picture to my email or something like that. But um, so fast and easy, you're just clicking and sending and then all your to-dos are done in like five or 10 minutes. <laughs> now, when you first joined Maven, like Melanie said, she had like 100 to-dos. That's because she's backed up, right? She's just started Maven and they're pulling everything from two years. So she's gonna have a lot for a long time, but once you get caught up, you know, a dozen maybe, if you've done a lot of business, um, but you just click right through your to-dos and you're done. You have done your follow-up and you can trust that you have communicated with everybody you need to communicate with. And the next morning, Maven will check your workstation again and they will check for two days, two weeks, two months from this date. And then all those people will pop up and say, hey, you need to follow up with these people. So it, it reminds you every single day. So you're just doing a little bit every day and you don't have to think about it. Now, when I started using it, I felt like, well, gosh, I'm not, I'm not working very hard. I should be doing more work. Like what is going on? I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I just followed up with 20 people. I just checked in on all my orders. I followed up with people that haven't ordered for a while. I've done it all. It's done. I did it. And it's okay that I, I have all this free time now. It's amazing. And I didn't do it sitting at my desk. And I didn't have stacks of paper everywhere trying to figure out who I need to talk to. And um, I didn't have to do all that. It was just quick on my phone while I was sitting in my car in my garage after dropping Christopher off at the bus stop. Before I came back in the house. Click, 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 to do, to do, to do, done, done, done. That's it. So I love Maven. It has completely simplified to follow up and you can trust that you have talked to people. The other thing I felt like was um, sometimes I felt like, oh, that person ordered and I haven't talked to them yet. And sure enough, like a day or two later, it popped up in Maven. I'm like, oh, it just wasn't time. Now you can adjust to the dates, so it's automatically set up for two days, two weeks, two months. You can adjust them slightly, so if you need to. We found the two-week one that we would push out just a little bit because sometimes people hadn't received their orders yet to connect with them again because we'd gotten them to their hostess or something like that. So, um, so you can tweak with your dates and your settings, but for the most part, if you have all your information in Maven like you, or in your workstation and you're entering orders under customers, it should pop up and, and you can trust that Maven will remind you when it's time. So I love, love, love that piece of Maven. I have a question for you, Heather. Go for it, Kat. Uh, all right, say you have a large list and you don't get through all of them in one day. Mm -hmm. Do those... They'll hang around. They do hang around, okay. That's yeah. what I was, I was wondering if they disappear because they weren't on the next day's list. Nope. They'll hang around and it'll remind you this is from six days ago. This is from seven days ago. Okay. <laughs> so you okay. know which ones you've ignored. I did have a couple that waited a while because I had ordered them for people before they actually had paid and purchased actually. And I didn't want to follow up until they had come and picked up and paid for it. Um, actually, that was kind of a roundabout. Anyway, I'll keep talking. I've that's, done that before. That's too. a whole nother thing. <laughs> well, I had ordered some extra bricks and then she ordered a brick and I'm like, oh, good thing it's coming already. Yeah. <laughs> so I assigned it to her, which is another cool thing you can do in Maven. So um, sometimes we, and that's a perfect example, um, I knew bricks were going to sell out. I knew pina colada bricks here in Florida are like very, very popular. I was selling them like crazy. Um, so I wanted to grab a couple more just before they had gone away. Plus I had run out. So. So I ordered a bunch of bricks. Well, two days later, I had a customer who ordered a pina colada brick and wouldn't you know, pina colada sold out. Mm -hmm. So I said, oh, thank goodness, I have one coming. Um, so what I did in Maven, let's stop it, is, and I'm gonna try to show you this a little bit. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but, okay. So there's this little icon down here, the little stairs. And um, it brings up all your statistics. So it shows you your goals. So Maven tracks your sales goals. Actually, it took me through a whole thing today. Um, my goals for the new Sensi year. What are your monthly or annual sales goals? What are your new team member goals? Do you want to go to convention? Do you want to earn an incentive trip? Do you want all these different things that you can you can put in there? So and then it tracks any. Everything that you do, all the to-dos that you do, see I've done 32 to-dos so far. 
um, any products that you share, any samples you give, and then if those people go and look at your information, it tracks everything. But if you scroll way down at the bottom, it says all sales. And if I go there, it has all of the orders from my website, all of them. And so what I can do, here's a group order. So here's um, one order. It's got all the products that were in that order. See, it pulls everything from your workstation. Now, what if that I wanted to assign, I'm going to assign, say this blue grotto Sensi bar. Mm -hmm. um, somebody decided to order that and I gave it to them out of this order. So it wasn't for me really, it was for somebody else or it ended up in somebody else's hands. Um, I click on that product and then down here I search for contact. I can put that person's name in there and then it will assign that product instead of it to me because the order came to me. So I'm going to show up, follow up with Heather. I'm like, no. um, I can assign any products that didn't go to me and went to other people. I can assign them to those people. And then Maven will create a to-do for those people for those products based on this order. So you can do that if you have like a big order and you don't have um, them under customers or maybe the customers come later, like my brick customer, I had already ordered a bunch of bricks and then she ordered one. So I knew one of those was for her. I just went to that order, I selected the product and I searched her name and it attached it to her. And now I get it to do for her for that brick. So, um, whether it's a big group order or individual orders, it doesn't matter. You can assign them to different contacts. You can also, if you do like cash and carry, so those of you that are at events, or um, if you're just taking your basket to go visit people and you happen to sell some stuff, um, to unplug, you can just go to your contact list and pick somebody. Um, I went to visit this person a little while ago, and she ordered, actually, she ordered some stuff. Um, the three little dots up in the corner uh -huh. will give you lots of actions that you can do for this person. And one of them is to record an order. And when you do that, it pulls all the products from our, um, from our website, from our catalog and you can choose and it will attach it and it will enter an order. Now that order does not go to your workstation. It doesn't show up in your workstation. It doesn't even show up in your sales, but it will trigger a to-do. Hmm. So when you do cash and carry orders or people buy something from you or if that lady comes to my house tomorrow and buy stuff off my shelf, I'm gonna manually enter a product order for her so that I get a to-do based on that in the future. Hmm. And then I don't think about it. I don't have to worry about where's the order slip I don't have to worry about keeping track. <coughs> it's in my maven and I know it will pop up when it's time. Um, some of the other things you can do for people is record a sample. So if you give somebody a sample, you want to record, again, you type the product. So maybe I did a washer with sample. It's, all I have to put is with and it's going to bring them all up. Let's see, I gave her, I don't know probably gonna give them some Luna washer whiffs. And I can put the date and say record the sample. And then guess what? I'm gonna get a to-do in a couple of days that says, hey, check in on this person and see how they like their sample. And then you can contact, you can text them or email or see the contacts right here, I can text, email or phone call those that person and say, hey, how'd you like your sample that you had? Did you get a chance to use it? Um, just like that. You don't have to remember, and you don't. If you already have their contact information, then it's easy peasy. Um, but if you don't have their contact information, it's a great excuse to enter them into Maven, and super easy to do. So in contacts, you just hit the little plus. Then you can hand your phone over and be like, "Here, enter your information, and I will be sure to get back to you, or I'll check in with you and see how you like the catalog, or you can just hand this over and let people enter for you." And now they're in Maven and it will trigger, um, once you finish all the information and hit save, it will give you an option to send them your social shop, which is basically a digital business card that you can send to them right away. And then you'll get a to-do that says, hey, you have a new contact, you should check in. With so awesome. All okay, right, I, what have, else? Yes, I have go. another question. 
no, no, no. getting a party order together <laughs> and mm -hmm. always put some sort of sample in with each person's mm -hmm. you know order yep can you go into that order and also say that you gave a sample with their order no or do you have to do it you'd have to do each one okay. um because the order is going to come through the workstation so mm -hmm. that will happen automatically when you go to the contact you'll see her order there and then you just hit the three dots and say record a sample and find what you gave them and then you can keep track of what you've given people too that's, what that's important thinking. what did i did i already give you a sample of that i don't want to give you more that's a waste right. of money so it's a great way to track what you're handing out to people um, but you would need to go in each time and it would but it you know even having that extra reminder was he's going to remind you to to ask about the sample mm -hmm. sometimes we don't do that we'll ask about their order but right i gave you a sample did you like it you know yeah. I've actually had some people get back to me and say, oh, I love that sample of, you know, hand cream yeah. or whatever that you put in. And um, I said, remind me when I place my next order, I want to order that. Yes. So, you know, okay. I, I'm writing myself notes. Remind myself when someone okay. so does that. So here, look, new notes. Awesome. So when that customer calls you and says, I love that sample, remind me to order that next time, you can do one of two things. You can either create a wish list for that person, yeah. or you can make a new note and schedule a follow-up. So if you have somebody who just likes lots of different products and you want to keep track of their favorite things, because mm -hmm. we have those people who they, you know, they love Luna, everything right. Luna, or I have a customer who only likes her cleaning products in sunken So mm -hmm. I could create a wish list for this particular contact with those things that I know they absolutely love. And that way I can just keep track of them and remember. And when they're ready to order, if they're not sure, I can just send them their wish list and be like, well, here's all your favorite things. Let me know if you need any awesome. of them. Um, the other cool thing about a wish list, I know at Christmas time and at other gift giving holidays, we often talk about having people um, and just thinking about Christmas time, you've got all these people, these women shopping for other people, right? And you give them a list for them to fill it for themselves. What would they love to have? And then you get their spouse's contact information, right? Or their loved one's contact information. You go into Maven and you create a wish list for each of those customers. And when their birthday comes up, when their anniversary comes up, when Christmas comes up, all you gotta do is go to that wish list and forward it to their spouse. Awesome. And guess what happens with that wish list? You guys, the wish list is shoppable. So when you um, pull up, I'm just gonna see if I can do this without sending stuff to people that they don't know <laughs> that I'm doing. <laughs> uh, no, that's not it. I don't know if I can do that. Let me find myself. See if I'm in here. So when you create the list, dun, 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 or who do I know that already has a list? Christine, Christine, Christine. Okay, I know somebody that has a list. Christine Toll has a wish list. All right. I know she does. Well, she did. All right, maybe she doesn't. So I'm going to go to myself, and now it's going to give me the spinning wheel of death. <laughs> All right. Oh, I have a wish list for myself already. Well, All right, so look. I have Amazon Rain on my wish list. Yeah. Um, so I can share that wish list with anybody. And when I click share, I can either copy the link, right, and copy the link and post it to whoever, or I can send it right back to that person to remind them the things that they told me they liked and they wanted. I have people that say, oh, well, I'm really going to need some more counterclaim, but not till July. 
I could create a wish list to have it ready. And then when they're ready, I can just go, boop, there's what you told me you wanted. It's July. Um, but this wish list, if they click on it, it takes them to um, your PWS, directly oh, awesome. to the PWS. And if there's multiple products, each one says buy, 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 and they can choose what they want to buy, and it goes straight to your PWS. Awesome. Um, so it's super handy when you share that to a spouse. All they got to do is click a button and they can buy. Mm -hmm. So it makes it super easy. Um, the other cool thing, I'll do this on myself, is um, a note. So, you know, you talked about making notes for people. And mm -hmm. so you didn't forget what was going on. Come on. Go. So you can create a note for people. I'm going to add a new note. Let's say I'm going on vacation. Oh, I, okay. So this actually happened today. I had a customer. I checked in with her and, oh no, she messaged me because her switch on her warmer broke. So I'm going to give her a, a support ticket. And she says, oh, by the way, I'm remodeling. I might need some new warmers. Awesome. She said, I said, I can't wait to see what you're going to do. She says, yeah, when it's all done, you'll have to come over and check it out. Then we'll have to do a sniffing session. I said, oh, yeah. So I made a note for her that said remodeling, right? She's remodeling her house. I need to remember that. That's what she's told me. But then I can create a follow-up for that note. She's remodeling, and I need to follow up with her when she's done her remodel. Probably, maybe I'm going to do end of June. So let's just say June 23rd. And the description I'm going to say needs new warmers um, and a sniffing session. Check out her remodel, whatever, mm -hmm. to help you remember, right? And then save it. And so it goes away forever. You don't have to think about that customer again in her remodel because in the whenever you schedule it, it Maven's going to pop up and go, hey, remember, this person's got a remodel and you need to check in with them. So That's anytime amazing. you're talking to people about anything, having any kind of conversation, maybe you see the post of theirs on Facebook that something's going on in their life, you can create a note for that customer. You can create a note for that person. When you have a conversation and you talk about something and you plan for something in the future, you can make a note and you can schedule it to be followed up at whatever time is appropriate. So Maven will remind you to go check in with that person about whatever it is that was important. So maybe they're getting married in the fall and you go, oh, there's her wedding date right there. It's not for nine months, but you don't want to forget that your customer is getting married. Right. That's important. So you can create a note right now while you're thinking about it and you see it and you schedule it for, you know, right before her wedding. And Maven will remind you to go say, I hope you have a great day on your wedding day. So how cool, because now you don't have to remember that. That's not something that and we always forget. And then we say it after the fact. And it's just how cool to be able to remember things, you know, and to be able to, to be proactive about about touching base with people about important things. Um, and, and you don't have to take up brain space to do it, right? Or have yes, chicken yes. scratch notes everywhere that you remember to check and you, then you can't read them and you don't know what you were talking about and, and then it's passed and you forgot and you feel like a big loser. <laughs> <laughs> well, Maven will remind you, all you gotta do is create a note when you have conversations with people. When you have new team members, you can create a note that says, hey, her launch party is scheduled for this date. Let me make sure I remember to check in and say, how was your launch party? Um, your 15th day, your 70th day is coming up. How is it going? What's going on? Um, I can create follow-ups for anybody for any reason, not just sales, not just buy from me, build relationships, right? Check mm -hmm. in with people on important information so that they learn to get to know you and learn to trust you so that then they will connect you with their world and your business can grow. Um, what else do I want to remind you? Any other questions, Kat? Anything we pop up that you can think of? Uh, no, but uh, it, it's sounding like an awesome program for sure because I know so amazing. I'll, I'll do good for a while 
and mm -hmm. then I get out of sync of doing follow-ups and then it takes me a while to get back into it again and this way I'll be reminded every day so. yeah and we get so like we do we get we forget about it or put it off and then it builds up and mm -hmm. then we go okay we're gonna tackle it we tackle it and now we're burnt out we don't want to do it anymore right. <laughs> and um it's hard to be consistent and so to have it so convenient and I think that's the key it's convenient it's always with us we can do it on a whim when I go pick up my kids and I'm waiting five minutes for him to walk out of his girlfriend's house I can hit a to do dun 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 yeah um while I'm sitting in a doctor's office while I, like I said I usually I drop Christopher off to the bus stop I come back and I sit in my garage for half an hour and I check on my to do's and what do I need to do and who I need to check in with um, just those few minutes and then I'm done. I've worked. I've worked what would have taken me hours to gear up and organize and figure out what I need to do and then actually do it. Um, and I can do it anywhere at any time. And it's so simple and the verbiage is there. So you don't have to worry about what am I going to say? Just, just send it. Um, it's just, it's amazing. Quick, fast, easy takes care of the overwhelm and the frustration, reminds you of everything you need to do, who you need to talk to. It, it's there to help you build relationships. And that's the whole point. Um, the other cool feature that it does have that we haven't talked a lot about is the social shop. And so Maven is connected to Instagram. Um, now I was never an Instagram person, but Maven taught me Instagram. <laughs> So now I, I have Instagram, but I don't use it a lot. Yeah, so I never did either. So I decided, well, I'm just going to use it for business and that's it and see how it goes. And so I have started posting some things um, on Instagram just because of Maven and it's been pretty cool. So what happens is every time you post on Instagram, Maven will pull it immediately, like within a couple of minutes to your to-do list and say, hey, you have a social post that you need to review. And so you go review it and it asks you, do you want to um, link this to your social shop? And so if the post on Instagram is related to your business in any way, then you say yes. <laughs> and you can either link products or you can link the opportunity or you, I think you can link hosting as well. So if it's a, a picture of a product, then I'm going to link that product in the social shop. And so when they see it, they can touch the picture and it will bring up the products that are available in that picture and the little button that says buy, and then they can go directly to your PWS and purchase it. Awesome. Um, so this is my social shop. And like I said, it's just a digital business card. So give this link instead of just your website. Now they have access to your Facebook page your Instagram page, they have access to shopping with you that links directly to your PWS, hosting a party, it's right in their face as it's an opportunity you can host, and or you can join my team. There it is right there in front of them. You can shop, host, or join. Awesome. Click, click one, or you can connect with me on Facebook, or you can connect with me, it's all in one place. So I love that that's all in one place with your photo, and then they can decide what they want to do from there. And if they scroll down, these are all my Instagram posts. Cool. So, um, and then if they touch one of these, for example, this one has a lot of products in it. This is one of my scent crates. If I touch that photo, because I like it, all of the products that are in that photo are available to purchase. And if they click them, it'll go directly to your PWS. Oh, wow. If I have something like this, this was from the retreat that I went to. Um, this links directly to my join page on my PWS. All right. Um, so you can, you know, get creative with your posts and link them directly to your business. But this is how they, you know, it's called a social shop because it's all about social and getting to know you and it's the products in your world and in your life and then you can connect that directly to so I was at a tattoo shop and found a diffuser in the tattoo shop oh wow so guess what this is linked to 
are diffusers. Yep. And if they <laughs> click it, they can go directly to my PWS and purchase a diffuser. So, um, so it's kind of cool. But and that's a besides the fact, just the fact that all that digital information and contact is right there up the top, available to get you whenever they want. It's just awesome. Um, so I love that. So, and that social shop link is often added to the verbiage when you're following up with people. Nice. So it's already in there. Um, but you can always copy and paste the link. So I have that copy and pasted in my, I think I've changed my emails. I can't remember if I did or not. I think I tried to. I don't know if I was successful or not, but um, in my email signatures and things like that, I have my social shop link now rather than just my website because it gives them more information. I want them to be able to find me on Facebook. I want them to be able to find me wherever. Mm -hmm. um, so it's pretty cool that way too. Awesome. So many ways to use it. And the basic is follow up, and that's great, but there's so many other little tools within the app that you can use to grow and to connect with people um, and to share with them. If you are hanging out at a baseball game, watching your kids play and you're chit chatting with one of the moms you, and you're talking about, Oh yeah, we have body products. We love our body products. I have great lotion. Well, what does your lotion come in? What sense? You can bring up all your products. <laughs> This is all of our products from our um, website. You click on body. You can pick, mm, okay, hand creams. This is all our hand creams. And you can just scroll so you can be able to see. If you're, you know, how many times are you out and about talking about buddies and can't remember what buddies are available? Mm -hmm. Right? So go to your, to your Maven app, click on kids, click on limited buddy collections, and they're all right there. Wonderful. And if they love them so much, they can touch them, right? Oh, I love this one. Can you remind me about that? Well, sure. Let me just um, share this to, you can either copy the link, share it directly to Facebook. So you can just post it right on Facebook if it's something you're, you want to do. Um, or you can share it with a specific contact. So let me have your contact information if I don't already. And let me just put your name in there and I will send that link to you and you can text it or email it based on the information you have for that person. And it's going to come through for the verbiage. Awesome. You want personalize this verbiage. I think you would love since you see the snail since you buddy. Here's the link with more info. Let me know if you have and then they link, and then you can just hit send, and it's done. That's wonderful. Um, so all of that is directly from the Maven app. You you don't even hardly have to go to your PWS anymore, <laughs> <laughs> which is I think a good thing. <laughs> Not always the easiest to navigate, especially on your phone. Very true. Um. So yeah, so Maven is the bomb. dot com. Um, it just makes everything so simple and easy. Now there is a free version of Maven. You can do Maven for free, um, but you have to enter everything manually. So it'll pull contacts off your phone, but it's not gonna check in your workstation. It's okay. not gonna pull the orders from the workstation. It's not gonna pull any of that information. You're gonna have to go in individually and enter each order manually under each contact, and then you'll get your to-dos. Um, so having it pull your workstation, you guys, is $7.99 a month, and it's deductible on your taxes. And if you pay for the year, it's even cheaper. Um, for me, if you are looking to work this business in any capacity as a business and actually make money, um, I, I don't see why $7.99 is not worth it. Agreed. And I don't think that's an outrageous price at all. And I think for something that, that offers us so much yeah. information and pulls information and mm -hmm. sends things and makes it so much easier for us. And they're looking to add features all the time. Um, the notes feature is a fairly recent one. They just added like a month ago. Um, so they're adding things all the time. They're very good communication with Sensi to see what we need and, and how they can tweak and make better. Um, and I think if you're using it and following up like you should be, you're going to make more PRV and book more parties. And your commission is going to be more than 7 dollars 
So mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's the whole point. Um, so it's an amazing, amazing tool um, that they have given us. Um, and I mean, I think about the old way of following up and keeping track of all my order forms and figuring out how many days and I was printing labels and putting what date did they order, when did I deliver it, and how much, figuring out on the calendar, how many days out is that, and how many days out is that, and just all, ugh, sorting and binders, and it was so much work and time and frustration and overwhelm, and then you see the stack of order forms, and mm -hmm. you're like, oh, I don't want to do that, um, but no, I just sit down with my name and click, 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 and everybody's taken care of, and it's all fun. That's wonderful. So, it's amazing. But follow up, uh, whether you choose to use Maven or not, and I don't know why you wouldn't, um, you got to follow up. You have to follow up. So right for, for folks out there, now I have been here the entire time. However, yes, we saw your pretty picture. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing laundry, and I've been doing my Mavens, and <laughs> I have um, 30, 30 done while I was listening to this. Now, here's the cool thing. If yeah. you sell $32, so if your follow-up makes you $32, so it has one paid, six pack. Yeah. It has paid for your Maven. So that's so you might think $7.99, because some people have a hard time imagining themselves spending $10 on the website. So I yeah. have to put it in, and I like how you said that. One six pack. So you got to sell one six pack to be able to afford your Maven and have it pay for yourself. Cause that's the thing in this world. You want your business to pay for itself. And you know what, when you are consistent, you create positive momentum. I'm a little bit charged up. Can you tell? Just um, so we've not been using this very long. I mean, our pilot program, we started in February. So we've been a few months in, but people have started using it now, what, like a week. And I'm seeing all over the place people are posting, oh my God, I've booked parties, I've gotten sales, I've gotten, like, it is a game changer, you guys, because you're connecting with people that you wouldn't have, or that you would have forgotten about, or you would have questioned whether you should or whether you need to, and Maven says, do it, and you do it, and guess what? <laughs> or people are like, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Well, mm -hmm. Maven says it for you. You don't have to think of what to say. Just push the button. Yeah. Now in here, some of my messages, it said the last time they ordered was March 5th. And some of my messages said something to the effect of, I know it's been a little while since I reached out. Yeah. So for me, that's not that long because March 5th is not that far back to me. So for, months. for Maven, that's a long time. A lot of missed opportunities. Because 80% of your sales are going to happen on the 5th to 12th. And if their two months out is three contacts away, we haven't even hit the 5th or 12th yet. So we need to be doing it more often to get to the sale. So if we've got to contact these people five to six, seven, eight times, the faster you do that, the quicker you're going to get to the sales contact, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Yeah. So um, stop stretching it out. You're wasting money. Mm. So anyway, I love it. yeah, I am, it's good I stuff. Am it's good stuff. Since he's been listening, they've been listening to people's struggles. They've been seeing us trying to create systems and put stuff together. They've been watching people waste time creating systems rather than following up. How many of you have put together beautiful follow-up binders and uh, never used them? Yeah. I right? Uh, or filled out those customer information sheets with all the customer info and you go, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna keep track of my people. I'm gonna follow up, I'm gonna do my business. And you start, you copy all the forms and you start writing all the information and you put them all alphabetical and then it sits and collects dust. And you've mm -hmm. wasted all of that time, paper and energy and you've done nothing for your business. And I'm not a paper person. So this is right up my alley because I can do it anywhere. I. I never forget my phone. We are busy people. Yeah. Right. So, so Heather talked about uh, recently on a director call, I believe it was. Maybe it was one of these um, fringe moments. So we mm -hmm. all are busy people. I don't care who, who you are out there. You got something going on. Whether Sensi mm -hmm. is your main squeeze or your side hustle. So mm -hmm. 
uh, there's, you still have a full life. So if you find those fringe moments, the moments that you have five minutes before you, Mm -hmm. your appointment. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or when you get home before you get out of the vehicle and you know that you're going to be busy doing this, that, and the next sit in and do five minutes, 10 minutes. And Mm -hmm. all of those minutes add up and, Mm -hmm. and the relationships that you're creating with people, they watch you. So when, when people, when you start connecting with people and then they start seeing you on Facebook or Instagram and you're living your world, they, they start paying more attention because they're seeing you. You're visible. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I start a sentence and I have a thought, but I oftentimes yeah. don't. <laughs> so that book, The Fringe Hours is a book. Uh, forget who it's by, but it is a book called Fringe Hours. If you Google it or Amazon it, you'll find it. It's a great book. Um, and it is, it's about managing your time and using your time, all the pieces of time that we have. Um, Cause we only have so many and we've got to use what we got or we're just wasting it. It's funny. Cause I found and posted, um, there was a guy, he's a monk and he had this whole message about if you had $86,400, every day what would you do with it you'd use it you'd do something with it whether you spent it on yourself or somebody else or gave it away you'd do something with it the next day you'd get another eighty six thousand dollars four hundred dollars um and you'd use it up and then you'd get more and you'd use it up but some of us would use it wisely some would use it on ourselves some would give it away to others but you have eighty six thousand four hundred seconds in every day so how are you going to use it? I love and whether that. you waste them or give them away or put use them on yourself or someone else is your choice. And you're going to get a new set tomorrow. But what are you going to do with today's eighty six thousand four hundred? Because they're going to they're going to go away. Every moment they go away. So how are you going to use them? Um, and that's what Fringe Hours is all about. It's not wasting even a moment, um, even if they're small. Using them in in ways that can either move our business forward, fill up ourselves, take care of ourselves, right? Even if it's to take five minutes of quiet time for ourselves Mm -hmm. or to read a book for 10 minutes because that's what we like to do or whatever it is that we like that can fill us up or to grow our business or to connect with someone that's important or or whatever it is, but to be able to use every moment um, is important. So Maven helps us do that. Yeah. I think it helps us have more time. Well, yeah, because it frees up all those other moments that we would have wasted trying to do it or and not being very effective. And or keeping track of up. it in the more cumbersome ways. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm going to be signing up. Yeah. yeah. It's good. And they know. So when you're, when you're, First signing up, it's asking you what your why is, what your goal for the year is. And it's so writing it. We've talked about this recently. Mm-hmm. Writing, writing it down. It down. So when you're typing it in there, it's like, oh, it's oh. real. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's I'm making it real. Mm-hmm. And, and what's cool is Maven will follow up with you and say, hey, how'd you do? You were close. Let's try again. Mm-hmm. And what's your new goal? And let's let's set a new goal. And so it's, it's it can be pretty powerful that way too. Awesome. So the other thing I want to talk about Maven is we do have a Facebook group for Sensi Mavens. Okay. Um, it's the group is Sensi hashtag powered by Maven. Sensi hashtag powered by Maven, and that's the group. You have to answer the questions when you ask to join the group, and then they will submit you. Janessa is the head of community at Maven and she will go live every Monday in the group and she is awesome and she has a super cool screen share thing so you can watch her phone and she will walk through things, um, things that people have lots of questions and when they get lots of questions about things they know they need to talk about it so they'll go on and talk and do examples. Um, They'll chit chat with whoever is live and answer questions. Um, anything new that's happening or any issues they're taking care of, they'll let you know. But Janessa is really, really great um, about keeping us up to date and, and sharing things with us. In that group, there are also videos posted 
on how to do everything. So I know I've talked about a lot of things, but you can go in that group page and find the videos on the group and watch them all. They are step by step. She shows you the phone and she walks right through it um, and shows you all the things that you can do on Maven. And um, it's pretty, pretty awesome. That's awesome. Thank you. I see Christopher. <laughs> Christopher's last day of kindergarten is tomorrow. Oh boy, how exciting. And then he's a first grader. Woohoo! Well, honey, you gotta go to bed. You need to go to bed. <laughs> I'm bored. Okay, I'm all done with my phone. Here, go take it in your bed, and I'll be in in a minute, and I'll, I'll say goodnight. So Kat, I have to congratulate you. We have had three weekly calls and you have made it to all three weekly Well, I, I love this stuff because it helps keep me motivated. <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm impressed with you. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's it. That's all I have today. Okay. Well, thank <laughs> you. That was very informative. I appreciate Good. it. Heather. I'm glad. And I hope, like, I hope people will check out Maven because, like I said, you get 30 days for free. So at least check it out. Like, mm -hmm. download yeah. it and play with it. See what happens. Um, if you hate it or you don't use it, fine. But at least check it out because it can be very valuable if you use it in your business. But um, Sounds very valuable. <laughs> whether you use it or, or decide not to or you feel like you don't need to, you got to follow up. You've got to connect yeah. with the people um, often. Mm -hmm. And you're not bothering anybody. You're just checking in on them. You're just making sure they're happy and have everything that they need. Mm -hmm. That's it. So follow up to sell, follow up to check on people and make sure they're good. That's it. Simple. Hey, Heather. <laughs> I like simple. Heather Lambert, Don't over complicate it. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm super glad that you were on that pilot because you've gotten to Me know too. up close and personal and you were able to talk about this and I'm still experiencing and learning and that kind of stuff. So, well, you know, and that, that pilot came for me at a really good time. I was, I, this business is hard, you guys. And e even those of us that look like rock stars, we ain't always got it together. <laughs> and sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes it is hard to keep going and to do all the things that we talk about you should do. Um, and even pilot came, that opportunity came at, at the right time for me and my business. And to be able to get on it, it just awakened me again and changed everything. So if you're feeling like this business has sort of become an extra, a burden, um, extra work, just too hard, um, not fun, I, I beg you to give Maven a try before you make any big decisions or, or have any strong feelings about what's happening with your business because it can really change the way you do it and free yourself up from some of that um, and be, be quite a blessing and really give you a whole new way to think about your business. So, um, yeah, it's, it's not just a tool for us to follow up. It's, it's really, it's magic. Yes. So. yes. There you go. Awesome. So yeah. <laughs> thanks for being here, Heather. Thanks for doing this. And for the folks who are watching this, I'm super glad that you clicked the link to watch it because try it out. Test it out. You got 30 days to give it a trial run and see what it see what an impact it makes on your business. And I cannot imagine that if you do your to-dos every day, that it's not going to be to yes, <laughs> powerful, powerful impact on your business and freeing. So for yes. for nine, almost nine years, I've been trying to figure out what's my best follow-up system, and this they did it for me. And I just got to do what I got to do my to-dos. That's it. That's and, it. Enter yeah. the information like you're supposed to, and do your to-dos. Yes. That's it. All right. So, right. thank you so very much. I'm going to stop yes. the recording. Thank you.